So um, I'm Liz Pemberton. I live in Minneapolis, and um, I've been doing this a, a version of this class or something like it at every Gen Con. So <clears throat> if I skip something, it's probably because I think I've already done it. So stop me when you do it. So way back in the beginning, 1979, the Kenner Company came out with a doll cake named Darcy. She was out for two years. She was a fashion supermodel. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself with the comparison here because there's Darcy, the blonde, on the right. There's her friend Dana and her friend Erica. She had two friends, a real model. Dana was a model, and Erica was an aspiring model. So, <laughs> and Darcy came with three hair colors. She was blonde, a brunette, and a redhead. And then she also had a second version of herself who was fashion fragrance Darcy, who has solid arms instead of jointed arms. And she came with some perfume. It's a different hairstyle. It was very exciting. The perfume smells fantastic after these years. Like, <laughs> so the thing that happened then was that Kenner was bought by Hasbro in the early 80s. And somehow, mysteriously, there are varying reports that say that, oh no, they didn't use the molds, they didn't use the molds, they didn't use the molds, but here are Darcy and Jem's bodies. They are slightly different. Darcy is perhaps a C cup where Jem is a B. Um, Darcy has more arched feet. And there's a little bit of difference with the hands, but. I, I will let you judge for yourself whether any reference between the two was done or intended. And then the three face molds of Darcy also look stunningly similar to the three face molds here. The one of Aja isn't a very, it's not a very good picture, but if you look at Darcy and you look at Aja, you can see that it, so. So that's basically the story on Darcy. I have Darcy up here if you would like to look at her more closely. And um, there's also a very good book about Darcy. So, moving on. Oh no, not shoes yet. No, no. Uh, no. Rewind, rewind. Who's next? My technology is kind of sad, but let's let's go. Let's start with Jim. Come back. Come back. So, with your basic gem doll, with most of the gem dolls, there was production in Hong Kong and there was production in China. And in Hong Kong, you have a couple different markings on the back. We'll get to those a little later. But um, I'm going to refer to Hong Kong dolls, and that includes the ones that you can think of as no location, where it doesn't say Hong Kong or China, or where it says made in Hong Kong. So it'll be basically, there's China and there's Hong Kong. So if you're looking at these two, the one in black is a Hong Kong doll, and the one in right is a China doll. And in general, the Hong Kong dolls are gonna have darker, smaller makeup, I guess I would see. You see how the China doll has the big eyes? And that's gonna hold true for Jen and Stormer especially, but it's also gonna be a little bit true with Kimber and with some of the other dolls. So there's your basic Hong Kong and China. Yes, it doesn't show. So. These dolls came out at the same time, which was in general. Two different places. Well, the first year began in Hong Kong, and then somewhere in the first year they switched to China, and the second year, with, with the exception of Rio and Starlight Girls, everything was in China. So Hong Kong dolls came out first, China dolls came out second. Would they be more expensive ones? Um, it doesn't really matter. Although one of the things that I do this for is if you're shopping and you're emailing people and you, you know that you really like the Hong Kong makeup or something, you can be like, tell me about all your Hong Kong gems, that kind of thing. But there's no real difference in value until you get to the second holograms because they're, they're noticeably rarer and you can actually tell who they are, whereas with the, with the misfits, it's not as easy. So there's another thing. Hong Kong also has heavy eyeliner, and the one in the lavender. And light eyeliner, the one in the black, you can just see there's a big old raccoon eye around there. Versus not so much. And here are the markings. I don't know how well that's going to come out. Oh, you can't see that at all. Um, these are the two battery plates on the backs of the gems. And the one that is a big square with a screw in the middle of it is a Hong Kong one. And the other one with the little tab that's hidden by the blouse is China. They have slight differences in the uh, battery switches. It's very exciting, but you can't switch in between them. So if you're trying to replace your battery cover, you need to know if it's China or Hong Kong. Then we have 
then there's glitter and gold gem. She doesn't have a whole lot of variation, but if you look at the doll in the pink jumpsuit, what is different about her from the other two? She has eyebrows. <laughs> um, pretty much her makeup changes a little bit. She can have eyebrows, she can have almost no eyebrows, and her blush also goes from way too much to not very much. And I didn't do anything about Rocky Curl because really the only thing that changes about her is the state of her hair. So, um, keep going back to shoes. We'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, where are the holograms? There are. So, again, here's a slide that no one can actually see. The point being, um, the earliest dolls, the no location made in Hong Kong, just say copyright 1985 Hasbro Incorporated and they don't list a location. But then, oh, well, I guess we're gonna talk about Aja then. So, <laughs> um, Aja, no location, uh, has white eyeshadow. She's the one holding the strange euphonium thing Isn't from- Isn't that Superstars as well? Um, that is Superstars, but Superstars is a whole other thing. Hasbro had extra doll bodies and extra doll heads. But a continuation? Yes. And they, well, I don't think it was, these are the early ones, so I think they were just B-stop that they didn't want to sell as gem. And so they sold that, manufacturers do that a lot. Um, superstars were packaged and they were just random. And a lot of these early Hong Kong ones, you can see that their hair, like her hair looks kind of cruddy and there are a lot of problems with them. So they were just B-stop. Um, Aja, no location, has white eyeshadow. Then there's, if you move on to the one in black, she's in a location with pink eyeshadow. The one in the middle in the pink is a Hong Kong doll. The one in the Gem Con t-shirt is a China doll. And the one on the end is a second Aja. And there are subtle differences with Aja, but it's kind of mostly her hair. So um, you can see this is supposed to show me white eyeshadow versus the pink eyeshadow. It's pretty subtle. But when you see them in person, it does kind of stand out a little more. Um, what is this? Oh, this is more, this is a no location versus Hong Kong. And you can see the Hong Kong doll, who is not wearing a necklace, has a little bit nicer hair. And um, also, you can see where their squiggles are, are. One of them extends into the eyeshadow, one of them doesn't. There's a little bit of difference in stenciling, but that might even be just doll to doll rather than so here's China Aja with her nice, smooth hair and her nice bangs that lie down. I really like that. Although the Hong Kong ones tend to have the layers that stick out more. Oh, no, no, no. And here's China versus second Aja. And I've since learned that mine has a haircut, so that is not a standard thing with the seconds. They are very similar. It's very hard to tell these dolls apart, except for their earring holes. Factory earring holes will tell you that it's a second option. <clears throat> and here's more of a thing on their hair. The one in with the, the pink has not very well layers. That's the no location doll. Hong Kong has good layers that show. And China has nice, smooth layers that lie nice and smooth. No, no, she keeps going on. There they are again. Let's keep going. All right, now we get to Kimber. Um, Kimber has some pretty drastic differences. She has dark makeup. If you look down on the lower, your lower right, this is not showing up very well at all. Um, anyway, she has dark makeup and she has very light makeup. If you look across the bottom row, well, it's just a little hard to see. Trust me on this, Kimber has different makeup. The second dolls have the lightest makeup, but there are also some first edition dolls from China that have pretty light makeup. And the Hong Kong dolls, um, the, the actual, they just say Hong Kong versus made in Hong Kong or no location, can have kind of, uh, they can have either the medium or light. Technology, technology. Their hair actually kind of varies a lot. If you look down at the doll here in the far right corner, she's got <coughs> bangs that stick up. If you look at the Hong Kong doll in the yellow dress, her hair is more of a dome shape. And then the China doll down in the bottom center has more little wispy layers. And the second dolls either have nice hair that kind of lies down or they have crazy bangs. 
They go all over the place, and you can't do anything with them, and they drive me crazy. But they're very pretty dolls, nonetheless. And here's a no-location doll versus a regular Hong Kong doll in the shape of their hair is the point of that slide. And I should say that my no-location doll has had this side of their hair trimmed in normal this is a Hong Kong doll versus a China doll, so you can see which is very, very different. And this is a China doll versus a second edition China doll, and she's got the bangs that are so big. So. And then there they are. This is um, supposed to show the red hair versus the pink hair. And you can kind of tell that some of the second edition dolls, instead of having the kind of orangish red, they have a pinkish red color. And there, there seem to be fewer of them, so they can be kind of blue. That's what you can get through about pink hair. That's what that is. And then there's just, you know, two reds, two pinks, just for fun. Yeah. And these are much clearer on the laptop, so if you'd like to come back later and look at them on the laptop, that would be fun. Um, more hair shapes. Boy, I like hair shapes. So here's much of Shana's. Um, the one down in the far right is a no location. Um, Notice that the one in the middle on the bottom is a Hong Kong with no widow's peak. And then the one on the bottom, on the far left, um, let's see, she would be a Hong Kong doll with a widow's peak. And the widow's peak is just a little, they've got like one piece of hair rooted further down into her forehead. And all the China dolls have that. Some of the Hong Kong dolls do in some branches. So it's just kind of a personal preference thing. The no location dolls here is a little coarser. It's also kind of a different, it's a slightly different color. Here you can see, depending on the doll and kind of depending on the area of location, she'll have tighter curls or looser curls. Um, to see here. I thought the projector would make everything easier. Um, here you can see that the no location doll actually is rooted further down on her forehead, so she has kind of a smaller forehead. Or that Hong Kong doll in the middle just has a giant forehead. And then the widow's peak is a little different. Um, this is meant to show the differences in their makeup. The no location dolls have kind of smaller eyeshadow, where the Hong Kong dolls are bigger. That's basic, basic. And here we're showing that Hong Kong and China look pretty much the same. And second and China also look pretty much the same. And what's here? That's a, it, yeah, it's a hair ball. Um, but they do seem to have a slight difference in fiber color. Oh, this is real, this is real detail of eye makeup that we're not doing. Here's Miss Shana with a haircut. She is in no location, and this slide is to show how her body and head and arms all end up being different colors. <laughs> so those dolls um, sometimes are a little less desirable unless you were wearing something with a turtleneck and long sleeves or those. Yes? No, I've never found one because they were all made in China and that plant seems to be stamping everything. The no location, I don't know why they did that, but they are identical to dolls that are marked made in Hong Kong. Um, because, well, uh, they were short packed. They made fewer of them than the other holograms, and you can talk about various sociological causes for that, which are extremely unfortunate. Um, they made fewer of her because they figured that girls wanted to buy the other dolls more. That's the business reason for it, and the uh, sociological reasons for it are all very unfortunate. Anyway, this is to show that your no location doll can also be gorgeous because I think she's gorgeous. And she's wearing a turtleneck with long sleeves. So, <laughs> so that's basically.